principal painter and today as you can see surrounding me is organization believe it or not it is organization uh, these videos are different from videos that I am used to normally doing so if I am all over the place I apologize I'm going to do my very best to share with you what I have done so far in organizing the craft room my thought processes uh, the patience that it's taken and you know me I have zero patience. So let's start this video out with this. I have made a lot of progress, but it has taken hours, hours and hours and hours of time. I'm talking, if I look tired, it's because I literally am up until three o'clock in the morning sometimes doing this. Um, but as Marlon says, and as a fitness instructor once told me, how long did it take you to get out of shape? Marlon says, how long did it take you to get all this stuff? Well, it took a while, so it's going to take a while to organize it. I have been purging. I've thrown away trash bags full of stuff, not anything that anybody would want, I promise. Um, let's just get into this. So, I start my story. Want to do this. Want to organize. Let's go. Let's go to Ikea. Okay, so we go to Ikea, and remember, I'm not patient. So we walk into Ikea, I have this vision in my head of, I want this cabinet, it's gonna open up, we're gonna put all the stuff in it, it's gonna be great. I hadn't measured, didn't know the size of the cabinet I would need, nor the space in my craft room. Remember, my craft room is small. And for those of you with small spaces, I'm your girl. I do not have a huge space. I mean, some of these craft rooms are as big as my living room. I don't have that much space. So I have to make use of the space that I've got. So this cabinet, I find one and I'm like, look, look, Marlon, look, look. And he's like, well, how big is the space? Like, do you know? And I was like, well, no, but I think this will fit. He's like, Kara, we're going to have to go home and we're going to have to measure. And I'm like, this is a wasted trip. I can't believe we didn't find anything. I mean, I am literally acting like a spoiled brat, okay? You know my little mantra at the end of my videos in a world where you can be anything, be kind? I wasn't kind. I was not kind. At that point, Marlon was done. He was done with me because of my basically immature behavior. So we're driving on the feeder road, trying to get on the freeway, and I see a Michaels. And I'm like, okay, let me just go into Michaels and see if there are any organizational things that you know I can look at, whatever. And he's like, fine, go in, I'm sitting in the car. Like he was done with me and my little attitude. So I go into Michaels and lo and behold, I find this brand. Now I bought it in store. So I will leave the name of the brand in the, in the description box below. Um, you can probably get online and find this stuff. I did not find it online. I found it in store and we brought it home, but it's one brand and it is called Simply Tidy. All of this stuff is from Simply Tidy that I'm going to show you, except for a couple of, of pieces. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have purchased. And fortunately, when I went into Michael's, like the skies opened up, the heavens parted, fireworks went off. And I was like, this is the stuff that I need for a small craft room space. I don't have room for big cabinets and I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking, obviously. So let me show you what I have purchased and what I've done with it. So first off, remember, I showed you in another video this little organizational gem. This is from Art Dot. Remember, it's the drawers. It's got this organizational piece that comes off the top. Um, they are stackable, so if you got another one, you could stack them or put them side by side. What I did was I labeled each of the drawer, rounds and squares. So I have two round drawers, two square drawers. When I tell you this took hours to organize, it took hours to organize because I have so many sparklers. Tima, it's your fault. You just keep making such pretty things. So in the round category, what I did... And remember, I started buying sparklers when Tima had the rounds for squares. So what I ended up having to do is on each of these little bottles, I have these little labels. And I'm trying to hold it as close as I possibly can. So you can see what I did. Some of them I hand wrote, um, which my chicken scratch is kind of hard to read. But this one says 552. That's the DMC code. 
CR stands for crystal and I put a little round. So I know that when I use these and I go to put them back, I know I can put them in the round drawers. I did that for all of my sparklers, all of them. I mean, seriously, that's just one drawer. But fortunately these drawers hold a whole bunch. I will be getting, um, I will be getting another set of these because most of my vials of crystals and sparklers and all kinds of things are full. Up here, I organized, okay, so I've got my two little vials of AB drills that I got in my Diamond Art Club uh, advent calendar. I have some um, sparklers or dazzlers as Distracted by Diamonds uh, calls them. They're beautiful, so I kept them in their cute little vials so I could use those if I wanted. And these, um, are organized these are squares i believe over here are these yes okay so these are my squares and these are either extra bags or what i couldn't fit in the vials over here are my rounds so they're separated so whenever i need to refill i can just go through here i have them you know graduated up in their bag so that if i need to refill i can do that uh in the back I have gotten, you know, you, you order things from different companies and they'll send you some sparklers as well. So I have these little bags. I think I got these from Diamond Painting Bliss. In fact, I know I did. So um, these are those and just some extra in the back. I just have little, sometimes you get little sample size, you know, sparklers or dazzlers or what have you, and they're little tiny. So I have those in the back. So they're all organized. I feel so much better. I don't have disposable containers that they're in anymore. They were all over the place. I, I mean, and I will tell you guys, one good thing about organizing and putting everything together is you realize what you have, you're wasting money, or I was wasting money, I'm telling you. I have enough sparklers to last a lifetime. Now, if she comes out with new products that I can use, okay, I get that, but I have so many, I mean, four drawers full, full of sparklers. Um, so that's another great thing about organizing is you get everything together that's all spread out. You don't realize what you have. So that's my art dot story. That's organized. I was super excited about that and it took a while. For those of you organizing, get yourself a label maker. This is a basic Dymo label maker. I got this from Amazon. Just get on Amazon, look up label makers and this will come up. They're not expensive. If I can load and unload them, you can too. I'm a techno idiot, so um, you just lift up the top. This is a little cartridge that you put in. Um, it pops in and pops out, and you type in what you want to label, hit print, and you, this is the cutter, so you can cut it off. So uh, that has been very, very helpful. Um, all right, let's get into what I found at Michael's. Okay, so the first thing I found, I'm just going to put it in front of me, this is a desktop organizer, but it's big. It's really big, and it's kind of like a Lazy Susan situation here. So it will spin around. I have paint brushes for DIYs, all kinds of stuff. In the middle, there's a bigger compartment. So I have some Mod Podge, my acrylic sealer, sanders. Um, I finally found this. Brandy of Mystery Diamonds, my bestie, recommended quickie glue, like for miniatures or what have you, but I can use them in DIY projects. I couldn't find my quickie glue to save my life, but I found it. So that's in here. So, and what I also love about this is it's got three little, little tiny drawers that you can put things in. So what I have so far put in them. For those of you that might not know what these are, these are finger protectors so that when you are hot gluing on burlap or metal or whatever and it gets hot, you can protect your fingers so you don't burn yourself. I got those at Dollar Tree, $1.25 for six of them. And then what else do I have in here? Something else. There are three drawers. I guess I don't have anything else in here. Okay. So again, this is from Simply Tidy. It's the desktop carousel. And I will put, that's the brand, Simply Tidy. All of this stuff is simply tidy. So that is my desktop carousel. When I clear off my dresser, this is gonna go, and I'm, I'm, I am gonna reconfigure my craft room so that my craft room table is perpendicular to the door. It used to be facing the door. I'm turning it uh, the opposite way so I can put things that I need on the dresser behind me so I can just turn around in my chair and grab them and have them handy. So that's that. 
Then I found these. I went back and got a whole nother one of these and you can tell what I've done with it. I love this system. It is a three drawer system. And the funny part is on the label, it had washi tape on it. And I thought I have got a ton of washi tape. So it has, the drawers are divided into three sections so that you can put your washi tape in and you can display it. In addition, you know I love Distracted by Diamonds, love my paddy wax, love my super sticky paddy wax, and super, my super sticky paddy waxes have all come in these beautiful tins, and I have wanted to display them, and so these clear drawers allow me to display these darling tins, and you know, you can change them up for the holidays or however you want to display them. I still have some room for some more. You can put, again, DIY tools in here, um, let me take this off so to show you just a little thing. It just comes off the little drawers. Again, I had to go back and get another one. Clear acrylic. This comes off. Again, simply tidy. This is another fantastic organizational tool. So pull out the drawer. It is, I don't know if they can see it in the camera. It is divided into three sections. So one, two, three. So here's some extra washi tape. It fits washi tape beautifully. And because it's clear, you can see the patterns on your washi tape. So if you have a lot of washi tape like I do, um, there you go. You start putting it in the drawers and you've got three sections. It fits a ton of washi tape. And again, if you have tins or anything else you wanna display uh, that's small enough to get in these drawers, they're clear plastic, you can do that. That is that. Again, simply tidy, I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay, so what was I going to do for other storage? Oh, I forgot to tell you, on this carousel or on this little Lazy Susan organizer, there are hooks. So if you want to, you know, if you've got handles on something that you wanna hook on it, you can do that. And there are two sets of hooks on that. So, and you can also, they've got places to label, which is nice. Okay, so I've done this, done the label maker, can you tell I've been busy? I have been busy. Okay. This is just to demonstrate something. I have, I have these cubes out in the garage and I have cleared them out. So right now this cube is a holding station for stuff that I need to still organize. I still have another one of these carts to put together, but I wanted to show it to you in the box. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is just a holding station until I figure out um, what I'm going to do with the stuff in here. But um, I've got some chunky yarn that I was going to do, maybe a Valentine's Day project. I've got some uh, pipe cleaners or chenille stems, that kind of thing. All right. But these cubes now, what I'm going to do once I get everything organized on the carts, wherever I need them, is I can now put these in the closet in my craft room and you can you know they've got handles on them Ooh, you can tell these have been out in my garage dirty um, they have a handle on them so you could organize them and you know tie a little piece of you know yarn or whatever around here and have a label to tell you what's in the cubes which is helpful okay oh my goodness i've got my floral dirty now this this was what I used to organize my spare drills. I don't use these anymore, but these I also got from Michaels. Um, you can get them on sale. They put them on sale. I have all my cute stickers on the top, but it's one big box and it holds school boxes that you can, you know, put different kinds of things in. I've already taken some out to store some things. So when you start to get organized, you will clear up some organizational items that you already have. So that's what I've done here. And so I'm planning on using these boxes, these school boxes. Once the school boxes are out, I can use this big box for something else as well. So you clear out some storage that you can use for other things, which is great. Now, getting to, I'm almost to the carts, which I love. Found these at Michael's on sale for $10. Again, simply tidy. You get one, two, three, four, five bins, and I got them for $10. They're clear, you can see what's inside of them. I can use them for all kinds of storage. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet. This is a slow process because I've had to organize and 
basically do what makes sense to me so that I can find things easily. Okay, so I got two of those. Again, they're on sale right now for 10 bucks. So that's less than two bucks a bin, pretty much. All right, so these carts. I want to call your attention to the dimensions of these carts. Again, simply tidy. Uh, it looks like it's called Chariot Hudson. I'll show you the box in just a minute. But the dimensions of these carts, you do have to put them together, but they're really easy to put together. Marlon and I uh, put them together uh, as a team. In addition, what I love about these carts is they have organizational pieces that you can clip on the side of the carts. So here are, well, actually this goes into the cart. There are cart dividers, tray dividers that you snap in and you can divide up your trays. This will hold like tools here. Let me show you really quick. Like I said, I'm excited about organizing. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. It's not uh, been an easy process, but hopefully in my organizing process, um, it'll help somebody else. But you see it's got clips, and you simply take the clips, clip it down on your cart, and then you can put pencils, pens, diamond painting pens, whatever you want. These are awesome. These... Do I have one? I thought I had to put one on. Anyhow, these are clips that you can put on the end of your carts or the side, wherever you want. And you can take like a dry erase marker and you can label what the cart is holding, which I love. Again, Simply Tidy. I love this, I love this brand. Um, I'm showing you that. This I'll show you in just a minute. Here is another item that you can put on your cart. It, uh, again, clips to the side of the cart and it's got hooks on it so you can hook on things, uh, again, that can be hooked on. Love this, and I'm gonna show you this in just a minute. Okay, here's another label or thing. Like I said, if I'm all over the place, I'm not used to doing this type of video. Vulnerability again. This is awesome. So I found this, and this, you can see in the picture, is an item that is used to hold maybe vinyl if you're a Cricut person, um, they've got washi tape. I'm using this to hold ribbon. I'm a ribbon hoarder, ask Marlon. I have a lot, a lot of ribbon. So let me get into that cart and I'll show you this piece. And the nice thing about this piece is there's no, there's no assembly. You take it out and you hang it on the side of your mouth. So let me get this all back in. Again, the whole thing, simply tidy. And it's called a cart hanger. Where is, hang on, sorry. Yes, bare feet and all, at least I have my toenails painted. Did we, okay. I'm gonna get this cart out of the way. This cart I decided I was going to put my florals in. And you can see it, that I've got some of these shoe boxes. I have just put the loose um, little tiny bits of leaves and that kind of thing. So I have all my florals in one place. And again, it's very thin. I can fit all these into my closet easily. All right, let me slide this bad boy over. This is my ribbon cart. And as you can see, I've got a ton of ribbon on this cart. I have my... Um, why is the name eluding me? Um, the larger mesh that I use to make my wreaths and I'm knocking stuff all over the place. I've got some wreath forms that I have hung on the side. It probably is not gonna be ideal, but I'm trying to use every piece of space. Now, this is the over the cart hanger that I showed you and what you do, one, two, three, it has five arms. I had to skip two of the arms because some of my ribbon was a little bit larger and it was gonna make it harder to get off. But you, you pop it open and you put your ribbon on and it adds storage for you because I've got ribbon in all three sections and I had some extra ribbon. So if you hang this on the side, you've got yourself some extra space. Again, it's maximizing space. So that is what I'm doing to organize all of my ribbon, my wreath making, my florals. Um, it's getting there, guys. It really is getting there. Um, <clears throat> wanted also, here is what the cart, and it's heavy, so let drag it on over here. Um, it's called, okay, sorry, it's called the Hudson cart. This is in two different languages. So this is how the cart comes, and it, you do have to assemble it, but it's not hard to do. 
if I can do it, anyone can. So this is how the carts come. Uh, as you can see from the width and the height of it, you can get it in a small space very easily. And I got an additional one for some extra storage. So I'm excited about that. Then what I'm doing now is I'm clearing out, sorry, you can't even see my face, is I am clearing out my craft room of diamond paintings. I use the two year rule in a lot of things. If I haven't used it in two, two years, get rid of it. That doesn't apply to my diamond paintings. It just doesn't. So what I've done is I've categorized my diamond paintings in either, like I can use them as giveaways, I can use them to send to friends that might want them, what have you, sell them. Um, not sure how I'm gonna go about doing that. I haven't thought that far ahead, but I filled up one of the large storage containers that I've got and I labeled it storage container one. On this piece of paper, I have logged in every single diamond painting that's in that storage container. There's really not a lot of rhyme or reason to how I, or why I put the diamond paintings that I did into the storage container. But what I did was I put the title of the painting, the artist and the company. So I've got Saint by Dakota Dateweiler, DAC. I have got Rainbow Daydream Mermaid by Sarah Burrier, Craftably. That's all I've done. And so what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I'm handwriting it right now, but I will be inputting it on a spreadsheet. So I've got it and it's much neater than my chicken scratch writing. So when I go to storage, because these bins are gonna go to a climate controlled storage, I will have my spreadsheet and know if I'm looking for a specific painting, what bin it is in. And uh, the bin is labeled with the number one on the end of it and on the side of it. So I, I'll know it's bin number one. Now we're ready to work on bin number two. So um, that's how I'm doing that. That's the process, guys. That's what I have gotten done. I have told you I would take you uh, on this journey with me every step of the way. So um, that's what I've gotten done so far. I'm pretty proud. Uh, I've got a long way to go and like I said, I'm not a patient person, but I am taking my time and really liking the way that things are going. Oh, also, I got these. These are necklace and earring cards. They are card stock. There are 75 pieces in here. So remember, when I unbox my diamond paintings, except for very recently, I would unroll the diamond painting, put it on a hanger and hang it in the closet and separate it from the drills and throw the box away. So I have no boxes for the diamond paintings hanging in my closet, nor the diamond paintings in storage. So what I'm gonna do, remember, I'm going to reunite the diamond painting with the drills, roll them up, use probably washi tape. And then what I'm going to do is take cording and because I will have to wrap my drills inside my diamond painting and by sight will not know which diamond painting is which, I'm going to take a cord or yarn or something like that. Um, these do have holes at the tops of them and I will write the title of the painting and the artist and the company on the tags so that when I'm going through, I can look on the tags and know what diamond painting is what. I will probably go back and get another package of these, but I thought this was a good deal for 75 pieces. So it's a good start. Like I said, I knew this video was gonna be all over the place, but I uh, wanted to take you, uh, continue to take you on this journey with me. I promise um, if I need to do another video on um, organization, I will. And then I will do a final reveal of the craft room. It's nowhere near ready yet, but it's gonna get there. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. I am going live tonight at six o'clock central, so I hope you'll join me and I'll see you then and I'll leave you with this and I'll try really hard to continue to live by this. Sorry, Marlon. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter, and I am signing off.